This video demonstrates a new technique for primary ACL repair with a combined anterolateral ligament reconstruction. First, the ACL remnant is evaluated for repair possibility. Two stab incisions are made one centimeter distal to the joint line between the gurdy tubercle and the fibular head. K wires are placed and a 4.5 millimeter drill is used to create a bony tunnel on the tibia. The two tunnels are connected in a subcortical fashion and a ethabond wire is passed. Next, a two centimeter incision is made slightly posterior and proximal to the lateral epicondyle. A K wire is inserted, over drilled, and the ALL graft is secured with a swivel lock. The ALL graft is then shuttled deep to the iliotibial band. It is then passed through the tibial tunnel using the previously passed sutures and then shuttled back proximally deep to the IT band. Next, a tightrope cortical button is prepared by removing the white tightrope part and replacing it with a fiber tape. The tibial ACL tunnel is drilled in an ACL remnant sparing matter. The guide wire and drill are carefully drilled through the mid portion of the ACL stump. The guide wire is then exchanged for a fiber stick and the suture is removed through the anteromedial portal. Next, a fiber wire is passed through the proximal remnant in a luggage tag fashion using a scorpion suture passer. This step is repeated a second time using a second fiber wire. This is retrieved out the medial portal as well. An outside in femoral guide is inserted through the medial portal and held in position at the femoral footprints of the ACL. A guide wire is passed through the guide which is then over drilled using a 4.5 millimeter cannulated reamer. A fiber stick with fiber wire and tiger wire is placed through the femoral tunnel and retrieved out the anteromedial portal. The tiger wire from the ACL remnant is then removed with the tiger wire from the femur and it is used to shuttle down the femoral tiger wire into the tibial tunnel. The tiger wire is next used to shuttle the endo button through both the tibial and femoral tunnels. This can be directly visualized using the arthroscope. After the button is flipped, the second fiber wire from the femoral tunnel can be used to shuttle the two luggage tag sutures that are in the ACL remnant. They are shuttled through the femoral tunnel and this again can be directly visualized with the arthroscope. The sutures are then tied over the button using a knot pusher with the knee at 90 degrees of flexion. A swivel lock awl is used to make a start point in the tibia. The swivel lock with the fiber tape is then inserted into the tibia with the knee in full extension, making sure not to over tighten the internal brace. We use a marker to mark the bottom edge of the anchor in order to prevent over constraints of the fiber tape. The anchor is then placed into the tibia in standard fashion. Lastly, attention is turned back to the ALL. The sutures from the swivel lock anchor used for the proximal ALL fixation are circled around the ALL graft and tied with the leg in full extension and neutral rotation. The sutures are circled around the ALL graft a second time as a reinforcement measure and tied down again. The remnant graft and sutures are cut. An arthroscopic view at the end of the procedure demonstrates that the ACL repair is in good position.